Hello and welcome to NTT Data Client Conversations. I'm delighted to be with you and thank you so much for joining. My name is Henrietta Lacey Gutzel and I'm here at the Royal Exchange Building right in the heart of the City of London. With me here in the studio is Ashley Vandenheva. Ashley is one of our business consultants and this is an opportunity to hear from our clients about how they are bringing innovative sustainability solutions right into the heart of the business and preparing for the future. We're going to talk about two very hot topics, sustainability and the supply chain. And in this video of TechoPesca, we'll see a demonstration of how trust, traceability and efficiency are all coming together to help propel this organization into the future. Ecuador has a long history of fishing, including, of course, the tuna fish, which is probably one of the most valuable products that they export. So probably, even if you don't know it, you have tasted the Equatorian tuna recently. Hi, my name is Fernando Monzón, and I'm a technology manager at the Entity Data's Green Deal and Sustainable Engineering Practice, and I'm in charge of the blockchain traceability projects. Tecopesca is a fishing company established in 1999. They provide different final products based on tuna fish, and they export most of its production to Europe, North America, and Asia. Tecopesca has a strategy of putting sustainability first, both in their operations in order to make them more efficient and providing a future for the catch of tuna, and also in order to prove to the customers that they comply with all the sustainable economy requirements. Tecopesca wanted to test the blockchain technology regarding their traceability because they wanted to provide transparency and trust. The Hyperledger Fabric solution we are developing for Tecopesca allows the participation of all the participants in the value chain, that's the producers, as the fishing companies who provide the fish to Tecopesca at the Manta Harbor, including the logistics service providers and the final clients that which are mainly supermarket chains in Europe or North America, to provide the information to the ledger. Therefore, the whole life cycle of the tuna fish is stored in the blockchain, including all the certification information that allows for total accountability, not only of the traceable object, but also the sustainability information associated with that object. What a fascinating story. And I'm really delighted to be able to welcome two wonderful guests onto our show now. First of all, Ronald Aroca, Managing Director of Tecopesca, live from Ecuador. And of course, the star of the show, Fernando Monzon, live from our offices in Madrid. Well, I'd like to start, if I can, Ronald, by asking you, how do you see blockchain technology helping you in the marketplace? Well, we keep in our mind this kind of tools in order to be transparent with, with the people. Build trust also is, is very important for us. That's why we're trying to choose this kind of technology. So I'd like to, to try something. I've got um, a can of tuna here today that I bought at the supermarket a little bit earlier. You were saying, Fernando, that we can use this tuna to find out how it was produced. So what, what do I do with this tin to find out more? What we will need to have is uh, the lot number, which should be somewhere in the tax of, of that tuna can. That's the information we will use to trace the product uh, along the supply chain. We can enter that information into the tool and, and, and check it out, okay? So, so we see by filtering through that lot number what we have, okay? So, so initially what we're gonna have is a dashboard in which we can see the whole life of this um, product. We will start seeing what any other ERP system will tell you, which is the physical information about the lot number, kilograms, frozen, not frozen, whatever. But in this case, we have integrated also the sustainability information. So we can go down and go beyond and check, for example, the fishing area. We can also see the permits and licenses that are associated with this catch. Okay, so we know this tuna fish came from a legal uh, system, a legal boat and a legal license. The main points of this blockchain tool is to mix or integrate uh, traceability information with sustainability information. Companies like Tecopesca, who are interested in providing not only food and tons of product, but also a product which has a quality and has a sustainability behind, they need to prove this. 
Well, mm -hmm. now I would like to introduce uh, one of our blockchain gurus in, uh, in the UK. He's dialing in live from his home. I'd like to welcome Jorge Lesmes, Global Head of Blockchain for Banking. Mm -hmm. Obviously, blockchain in banking is very different to, to blockchain in phishing, but regardless, it's a very important technology. Why is it important for you? As I see, blockchain and distributed ledger technology is playing a pivotal role in removing the need to have to trust uh, people and having to trust technology, which you actually don't have to trust because code does whatever you tell it to do. So unless it is some very, very, very good friends of mine or family, I would always like to trust blockchain first. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'm really excited that we've got some questions coming through. I'm going to love to, to hear what you've got to ask our panelists. Um, Ashley, what's the first question? Why did Tecopesca decide to use entity data um, for this effort? It's a company that has a lot of experience. So they really catch very fast what we are dealing with right now. So for us to provide that visibility to our, our value chains, consumers, clients, inside our facility, in Tecopesca's ecosystem, which parties actually run nodes on the Hyperledger blockchain? Initially, we are con connecting to the ERP systems of Tecopesca. It's not a single ERP system. They have a system, independent system for sales, independent system for purchases, independent system that runs their machinery for the transformations that happen inside the factory. In fact, we were talking before about the, the cost and effectiveness uh, and sustainability of the transactions. Each user access their own nodes through the API. Therefore, they are totally independent nodes run under a single system that is looking for the maximum efficiency. Great demonstration on the level of data facilitated by the blockchain technology. Could uh, Tecopesca comment on the information collection process? All the information that we are already put on the solution is just not regarding the transformation area. So we have all the visibility, how they catch the fish, how they'll deal with all those raw materials, even when they are on the sea, you know, trans transporting all those raw materials to our facilities. I'd like to thank you so much for your questions. And let me also please thank our panelists. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. And thank you to Ashley for all of those great questions. Thank you so much. It was a really great discussion. Thank you.